Oh, what, what was that? Dude, what was that? I've never seen that before. That was so cool. Holy shit. All right, what do you got? It is Electrax, and it is time for the final episode, or what I think is the final episode anyway, of Layers of Fear Inheritance DLC. So far, such an awesome DLC, especially for the price. And there's a lot of cool things that they've uh, changed from the main game, which it really adds to the DLC as well. And one of the coolest you parts, see? I guess, is the In more... The end, all we take for granted is fragile and temporary. Crap. Man Interrupted. Passes <laughs> while nature endures. Speaking of which, I don't think our proud stallion likes the weather. Let's anyway, brighten things up a bit. I like the more psychological feel that they have going on. Like, man, I'm saying I like too much, but during the whole DLC so far, it feels like the daughter. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Doggy! Stop it. Is feeling like everyone is hating her now. Like, it's all her fault, and she's kind of really going inwards, and she really feels bad. And her parents are not, not helping that. Hey, 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 hey! James, calm down! I thought you loved me! Bro, we're not, we're not bros anymore! No, we're not. <laughs> James! This isn't fair, man. You're supposed to be my friend! You're, you're not my friend anymore! You want to kill me? Woo, James, James, no! No, stay back! Stay back, buddy! There we go! That's what I'm looking for! Um, I'm just gonna get out of your way. I'm gonna, uh, you know, just go back and do my, my things. Start pa holy shit, start painting again. Okay? Okay. Alright, goodbye. You creepy son of a bitch. It was all your fault, wasn't it? It's all you. You've made me hang out in this terrible hellhole, haven't you? Oh my god, I can't find my way back. Ah, shit. I can't find my way back to where I have to be to paint the paint it. There we go. Okay. <gasps> Oh man, I am not turning around now. Oh, oh, oh man. Okay, cool. That's right. All right. The sun bestows its kind rays upon the land. It's getting warmer and warmer until finally, marvelous, isn't it? I know it seems like a tragedy, but a beautiful tragedy is always better than an unremarkable existence. Okay, father. In his own um I believe okay. well. He wanted me to excel, hoping that when the time came, I would succeed where he failed. Avoid his mistakes. God knows he made plenty of those. Dad, you're fucking crazy, man. Oh no. No, I don't I don't we have to go to the anxiety door now? Oh. I can't take it. Oh, well, we have to see what's inside. I'm guessing that this is the end. This is where it all comes together. <laughs> what do you want, father? I don't know what I expected to find. I got two achievements. A farewell note. Oh, it's in a French. Will. Okay. What I found was an apology. Expressed in the only language he ever truly knew. At that moment, I could finally see my father for what he was. A man driven insane with sadness and guilt. Trapped in this house, a nightmarish echo chamber of past mistakes and tragedies. It was this house, a place beyond hope, beyond redemption. 
I knew what I had to do. I had given up trying to understand my father a long time ago. But I could finally forgive him. I got the good ending. Yes! Okay, okay, father. <laughs> Something pretty creepy about that. I don't know what. Is, is the place still haunted? I don't like hey, that. Princess, I don't like that. What have you got there? Oh, that's so lovely, sweetie. Why pink? Does that mean she's kind of turning into her father? That's so intense. I got, I'm so glad I got the good ending. There's um, a couple more endings. One I think is where everything just goes to flames. And there's another one where you kill yourself. That one's pretty, pretty intense. <laughs> but anyway, um, I really really like the DLC and how they did it. The interesting part about the father is that he's, he doesn't hate them. He doesn't, he's, he's kind of gone insane because of some things that have happened to him. And he actually really did love his wife. The most interesting thing about the wife character was that she, be she became a victim. I mean, he still loved her, I still loved her, all that good stuff, but she really let what happened to her drive who she became afterwards, which is really kind of sad and tragic. And um, he really still wanted to, you know, love her and make her feel good. But that kind of drove him away, and it made it much harder for him to do that. It's a very interesting game, and it has a lot of really, really, really deep themes and it explores a lot of really um, cool things as well. I really hope these guys make another game. I'm, I have to look into you know, like what other games they have made or if they have made any. But I really love Asper, man. They are freaking sweet. And this game was awesome. I can't wait to play another one. Well, this is... Oh, I can't. I gotta, I gotta watch it. Alright, well, I'm gonna skip this part. Well, before we like rabbit punch the like button and all that good stuff, I guess we should check out some of the comments because that's what I'm doing at the end of every series now. I'm going to check out the comments for that series and, you know, they'll just, it'll be awesome. Ah, that's so amazing. So hyped to watch the rest of the game. This music is beautiful. And I also love that the dog's name is James. Such a good name for a dog, am I right? Or you called him that. Yeah, I called him that. Mm -hmm. James will be remembered in our references forever. May you always be honored, James the dog. I don't know if he died or not. I was not prepared. I was expecting something to jump out and give me a heart attack. But the simple things actually kind of say fuck this game. I'm kind of confused by that comment, actually. There was a lot, there was a few jump scares. But, you know, there was also a general creepy vibe, which is, I guess, what Andre's trying to say. Hmm, <laughs> let's see what else we get. What else we get? <laughs> it's all in my Pokemon thing. Okay. I'm so excited for this. Thanks for putting it up. Really interesting, the change in the portraits that chose for the DLC. The one portrait in the painting uh, room, the little demon sitting on the lady, is an incubus, a highly sexualized demon that drains nightmares from a woman. Yeah, I thought that was really interesting as well. And there are some really, really subtle things in the game which make it, uh, you know, a lot more dynamic and, and, and really cool. I'm actually, although I'm a bit terrified to come to the next one. Oh, he's, yeah, replying to the hype. And <laughs> Marie just posted <laughs> a little painting and hurts. Yeah, she loves layers for me too. I'm late, but me, I'm super late for the party. Oh, oh, that's the outlast one. So yeah, that's all, all of the layers of fear. There's only 
like four episodes. It's a really short game because it's just DLC. And I, like I was just saying, I cannot wait for another Asper game. Well, this is Electrics. Rabbit punch that like button if you like the video. And we'll see you tomorrow.